beautiful. Thank you. And here we are at the crescendo, at that moment where we embrace the birth of Christ through us. What does it mean to welcome the birth of Christ through us? What does it mean? What? Joy. Joy. Any other ideas? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Gratitude. Gratitude. Any other? Grace. Grace. Yes. What? Love. Yes. What else does it mean to welcome the birth of Christ through us? Safety. Safety. Awakening. Awakening. Presence. Any other thoughts? Yes. Beautiful. It is within us. This wisdom and knowing, since it's been with us with every breath of our being, it's with every person, that Christ consciousness. And yet, it takes a while for us to awaken to it. It takes a while for us to relate to it, to allow it to be. I love this wisdom. Meister Eckhart was a German 12th century monk and theologian. And he says, What good is it to me if Mary gave birth to the Son of God 1,400 years ago and I do not also give birth to the Son of God in my time and in my culture? We are all meant to be mothers of God. I love that. And yes, the men present, you get to be the mother of that Christ consciousness within you. And what is mothering? It's nurturing, it's supportive, it's it's embracing those aspects of us, and we each have that masculine and feminine within us. And it's important that we acknowledge that birthing the Christ through us falls on our own responsibility. No one else gets to do it for us. Our loving partner can say, oh, I love and I support you, but they're not going to birth the Christ in you. Only you can birth the Christ in you. And in that, we have a blessing. Because as we acknowledge this beautiful light that's right here in the platform that's reflecting the light within us, it's of great value. We've been using the wonderful uh, Advent booklet in our journey, and this passage is from Reverend Toansia Rowan. She's the senior minister. Actually, she's a minister. Um, she's in minister training. She's on the board at Unity, and she serves a church in Miami. Here she says, for metaphysicians, Christmas is a time we celebrate not only the birth of Jesus of Nazareth. We also celebrate the birth of the Christ, God's perfect idea of humankind through Jesus. Now, we're Christians. One of the great things I love about unity is we are Christians. We acknowledge Jesus as the way shower. We acknowledge Jesus as a great master teacher showing us the way to awaken our Christ consciousness. 
Today, we acknowledge the birth of Jesus in Nazareth, the baby. Not fully realized, but fully alive. And we've come to the same place. We're right here, fully alive. And what we're ready to do is to take the lesson from Jesus. Not Jesus the baby. Jesus the man who recognized fully his Christ consciousness. Our call to birth Christ through us is awakening to that consciousness. Now, Jesus' message was quite clear. clear. Sounded a lot like what we said, birthing the Christ through us is required. His message was love. His message was peace. His message was the kingdom of heaven is within us. His message was forgiveness. And not just forgive and then let go of it. Forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive. And that's just to get started. Pure, simple wisdom. And when we practice having the kingdom of heaven right now in our experience, we too wake up our Christ consciousness and say, okay, God, I say yes. And that's what she continues to say. Let's see this. What if we said yes to God's invitation to speak peace in times of conflict and bring light in times of darkness. Let me start over. That was weird. What if we said yes to God's invitation to speak peace in times of conflict and bring light in times of darkness? What if we were willing to offer hope to the hopeless, companionship, to the lonely, and food to the hungry. Now, you might say to yourself, oh, those are all really wonderful things, but I'm not a saint. I don't, I don't have time to offer hope to the hopeless, bringing companionship to all the lonely people, bringing food to anyone that's hungry. That's a tall order. But we don't have to do it all. We need to do what we're called to do. Together, we'll cover all of it. We're all in God. And that birthing Christ through us is an awakening to what do I have to give. For Deb... She has a gift, a talent for numbers, for budgets, and and, and having those things work in order. For Ed Shaver, our master gardener, he loves gardens and growing things. And he volunteers at the different museums in town maintaining those gardens. And now he's maintaining our garden. Do you think he does that out of like, Okay, I'll pull a weed. No, he he loves it. Linda, with her her playing music, it it comes out of a, a love and a joy for being and doing it. Each of us has allurements, yearnings, talents, gifts that we can spread in the world. And it's a fertile environment. We may not be able to touch every single soul directly, but our actions ripple out. I was talking with Nicola before the service, and it's a vibration. When we hold that love or or our giving our gift, our talent to the world, it ripples out. It affects the entire universe. Our singing today, Our praise today is affecting 
the entire universe. Science has proven that the smallest of ingredients, an atom, can go from here to the farthest reaches of the universe and back before we can go boop. Quantum physics is shaping a new concept that we're all one, that there's no separation. And that's what we as people of unity already know. Our church services could be really short. We could just come in, sit down, and say, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in our life, God, the good, omnipotent, and go and do the work. Because that really is the truth. There's only one power in the entire universe. It's God. And so our birthing the Christ through us is us acknowledging that we're one with God. Are you ready to say yes to God's invitation? Yes, sir. Good! Because there, we really have two choices. There's love or fear. There's yes, and there's no. And I don't know if you've ever recognized it, but God always says yes. There's no place in God that says no. God always says yes. So if I say to God, I'm not good enough, God says yes. I'm radiant and powerful? Yes. So what we think, what we hold in our heart is what we're commanding in the world. We're co-creators with God. So, the choice is clear. Are we going to say yes and go forward? Or are we going to hold back I'm not ready yet. Well, when are we going to do it? If we don't do it now, when are we going to do it? Isn't today the best day in our lives? In fact, right now is the only moment of our life for the rest of our life. We've started anew. And what a blessing. We get, on Saturday, we get to come and we get to let go, write it on a piece of paper, and let go of anything we're not going to take into our future and burn it up. I love that. Again, it's a ritual of something that's already happened with inside us. Reverend Thomas C. says, what if we welcomed life, love, wisdom, power, and substance to flow through us into the lives of every sincere seeker. And it's true, there are some people who don't want our love. There, there are some people that aren't ready to receive help. So turn to the people who are ready for it. We have so much love to give. Let's serve the people who are ready to receive it. Because when we put forth that vibration, it returns back to us. So our beautiful mission together, how we serve our community and the world, is a way for us to arrive at the world we see. And then, to wrap this talk to a close, I go to one of our great, wise women, Oprah Winfrey, 
who has touched the world in great ways. And she says here, you have to find what sparks a light in you so that you, in your own way, can illuminate the world. It's so true. Each of us has a spark. Each of us has a bright Christ light that's within us, that's informing us and guiding us and giving us what we need. I'm ready. I'm healthy. I'm ready. And I'm stepping into a greater sense of being of service. I invite you to join me. And together, we'll manifest birthing Christ through us, making our community, our city, our world, a better place to be.